Today is August 17th. This is Frank Damore with the End Times Research Ministry. I'm also the pastor for the BibleProphecyMan.com site as well. Not only am I posting my videos on YouTube, I'm now posting my videos to Real Video. And you can see a list of the videos that I already posted. There are five of them. Real video is a relatively new method of posting where censorship is not worried about, where they do not censor you if you love the Lord or if you're a conservative or if you believe people have the rights to bear arms or if you have the freedom to believe what Donald Trump is doing as president. On both of my sites, either here at the End Times Research Ministry, you'll be able to scroll down You'll see my book. You'll see the link here. Click this link and my book will download for you today for free. Today I want to cover a prophecy that the Lord told us about that would be dealing with specific information about the nation of Israel. This had to do with the last day. So please pay attention because no doubt we are in the last days. And this isn't just an isolated prophecy. All of the prophecies that the Lord warned about in Matthew chapter 24, the beginning of the birth pangs, they're accompanying this particular prophecy that I'm going to be addressing right now. It has to do with the Jews returning back to the nation of Israel after Israel would be a nation again for the second time. I don't know about you, but how many nations can you count on your hand? that were nations thousands of years ago, disappeared off the scene, and then 2,000 years later, that nation was reborn. Of course, it happened to Israel because God saw it, because He is God and He can see through time. There is no time for God. And so He gave us a warning that when you saw Israel become a nation, when you saw the Jews returning back to the motherland, you would know that you're in the generation that's going to see Jesus come back. That's really good news if you receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Take a look at the two prophecies in question. Number one, this comes from Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 3. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will bring my people Israel and Judah back from captivity and restore them to the land I gave their forefathers to possess, says the Lord. Now the second one is from Isaiah chapter 43, verses 5 through 7. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bring your children from the east and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up. And to the south, do not hold them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Now, I'm not sure if you know this, but the population of Israel is growing exponentially ever since the rebirth of Israel on May 14, 1948. And once again, Israel Today, the news of August 17, 2018, had the headline, Watch, 239 young Jewish immigrants joyfully arrive in Israel. These are Jews that left North America to go back to the motherland, in part fulfilling the prophecies that you just saw. Watch the video. again at the Ben Gurion Airport welcoming Jews coming home. This time 239 Olim, new immigrants coming with Nefesh Ben Nefesh from North America to Israel and we're here to tell them, welcome home. We are so happy to be home! We love this country! Where else in the world do you get a reception like this? This is unreal. It's still unreal. And super... again at the Ben Gurion Airport welcoming Jews coming home. This time 239 Olim, new immigrants coming with Nefesh Ben Nefesh from North America to Israel and we're here to tell them, welcome home. We are so happy to be home! We love this country! Where else in the world do you get a reception like this? This is unreal. It's still unreal. And 
this country. Where else in the world do you get a reception like this? This is unreal. It's still unreal and super exciting. How's it feeling? Amazing. Really amazing. We're very tired and very happy. <laughs> We started talking about this 10 years ago when our oldest made Aliyah. So it's been a slow, long process, but we're finally here. We came from New York and we're headed home. Habaita to Yerushalayim. That's pretty good. <laughs> Exhausting, but uh, exciting. Exhausting, but we're here. We did it. When you're given the opportunity to fulfill a dream that the Jewish people for centuries had, if we had the opportunity that you should take the opportunity and, and pursue it. It's amazing. It's uh, it's like it's like no other landing when we come to Israel. It's just amazing. We finally did it after thinking about it for 50 years. <laughs> what are you looking forward to? Everything. Uh, everything. Family. Family. Israel. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and a great retirement experience. We're Jewish. It's our homeland. And um, it's a great place. It's uh, it, lots of courage and lots of inspiration. This is the place to be. This is where we dreamed of being for 2,000 years. We're very privileged and lucky we could be here. And we're very thankful to everyone for assisting us. And we're going to make it great. Why are you here? Because we're meant to be here. It's just amazing to be here. This is our real home. We always like felt connected here because my great grandfather made Aliyah right after Israel was created. So we kind of like led us back here. We feel all the feelings. So overwhelmed, hopeful, excited, sad to leave our family, but very it's a dream come true. I'm gonna play basketball here professionally. Yeah. Where are you gonna play? Uh, either Elad or Tel Aviv. I'm Jewish. I want to reconnect with my roots. I've always been curious about Israel. My parents support me, so beautiful country, and I'm happy to be here. It's amazing. Everyone's coming together and coming to the homeland. It's the best feeling in the world. The Jewish people, we're told, come to Eretz Israel, and that's the story of the Torah, and we're trying to follow in that way. And um, we're really taking the, the future of our children in front, to a totally different direction. It was, you know, an American direction, and we're saying, no, we're going to move the ship forward towards Israel and our grandchildren and great-grandchildren will be Israeli. The Jewish Virtual Library will give you the vital statistics, the latest population statistics for Israel. Now, has the Lord's Word come to pass? Just take a look at this. It says, on Israel's 70th birthday in April 2018, Israel's population stood at a record 8,842,000. This is more than a tenfold increase compared to when Israel was founded in 1948. The road to the rebirth of the nation of Israel on May 14, 1948, wasn't easy. But they followed the road leading to the fulfillment of Bible prophecy. And literally hundreds of thousands of Jews from the north, east, west, and south have returned back to the motherland exactly as the Lord prophesied for the last days. Now in retrospect, as we watch the incitements of anti-Semitic rhetoric and crimes increase throughout the world, watch in the near future as even more Jews living in other countries outside of Israel return to the motherland. As I said earlier, this is one of a whole slew of prophecies that were meant to happen at the same time, and it has only been fulfilled in one single generation, and that's the one you're in right now. That's why it's so important to receive Christ as your personal Lord and Savior today. Don't hesitate because you don't know how much time you have left to give an account of your life to Christ. And once you hit the judgment seat of Christ, and you're without His blood, your road will be to hell, not into the kingdom of God. And the Lord has given us these prophecies because He wants you to make it into His kingdom. I know that the Lord will say, Welcome home if you receive His blood, His work on the cross, and His Son. This is Frank DeMar with the End Times Research Ministry. God bless.